Today, I want to talk about what is the worst that can happen in one particular category, fatherhood. And this isn't going to be an easy conversation because watching fatherhood unfold at a society, global level, watching and seeing patterns that others may not because they aren't doing this work and seeing everything that I see it through the lens that I see it, or watching different men and different standards and models of behavior become acceptable, watching Tom Brady unfold in the news, watching a man give up on the most important time in his kids' lives for one more football season to know for just the sake he did it when he's done almost everything. What's the worst that could happen? Is this moment that we don't even know is coming. We may have a conscious idea of it, but it's that moment when our kids come home and they say one of them is pregnant. Now, this could be a son coming home saying he's got his girlfriend pregnant or a daughter coming home saying that she's pregnant. This is... I would classify not having experienced it, but only imagining what it could feel like is probably one of the hardest moments next to losing your own kids as a dad to go through, to realize that your kids who are still innocent, still learning how to be adults, just did this very adult thing that takes away and changes their life forever, literally forever at the age of 16, 17, 15. And their life will never be the same. All of your hard work, all of your slaving over your money will be not necessarily for nothing, but it won't be for the land of opportunity that you hoped that they would have when they graduated school. And so what's the worst that can happen? You get it wrong. You realize that you did matter. You realize that the time you spent somewhere else the time you spent thinking about where you should be, but maybe not. That time where you realize that you should have done this instead of that. That time you should have modeled what love looks like to your wife first so that your daughter understands what the relationship with love looks like when she dates. Or maybe it's the model of love that you were supposed to give her to allow her to understand how a relationship with another boy works. I've said it before, I'll say it again. We are the model for the love that our daughters learn to live and look for. Our sons, we are the model for how to love another woman. What that looks like, what's that behavior, what's that mindset. We are the model for what love looks like to both our sons and daughters. Like I said, what's the worst that can happen is you enter into no man's land where you realize that the time you didn't show up, the time you thought the other things were more important, the times that you avoided doing the work mattered that they really did need me. And you find that this book of bullshit that you've been buying, that you don't matter in your kids' lives, and that your only role is to provide, was wrong. Can this happen to the best of dads? Yes. Despite your best parenting, despite my best parenting, something crazy could happen just like this. But you know what allows you to get through it easier is having the framework, doing the work, and being the father that either of them need as they do learn to accept the consequences of their choices. Whether you've done the work or not, life's going to be different on the other side of having a kid. And if you are not a capable leader with your family to lead them through their conversations, if you have not built the trust with them to have difficult conversations, there's not a framework to get through it. 
You can't control life happens for you. You can't control how a life is happening. You can control your response. You can control your behaviors. You can own your mindset and your choices leading up to that moment. But what's the worst that could happen? That's the question I want you to sit with on this Wednesday. What's the consequences of not figuring it out? Whatever it is that you are struggling with right now, whatever that moment is that you've been around the roundabout on over and over and over, and just like on the Truman Show, the roundabout always comes to the same conclusion. I'm right back where I started. What's the cost of not figuring that out? What's it emotionally costing you not figuring it out? 30 years from now, what's it going to cost you to figure it out to get better? 30 years from now, what are you going to wish you did today? There are, are very few second chances in life. The only second chances you have is the ones like this, where the only lost is your thought in maybe a little bit of time. As long as you haven't had a worst case scenario yet, there's still time. I don't care if your kids are in their 20s. Your kids are always looking for a relationship with dad. I talk to so many men who just crave that relationship, a healthy one, understanding, one that's proud of who they are. That feeling doesn't go away. And they're always looking for it. Think about it. What is the worst that could happen by not getting through whatever it is that you're struggling with? That is all I have for you today. And I'm back again with you guys tomorrow.